Hi, my name is Lizzie and I'm the founder of 31 Status. The mission of 31 Status is to show girls around the world what the Proverbs 31 woman looks like today. We want to set a new standard of beauty in a world that tells us that sex and seduction are the only ways to find love. We believe that true love comes from God and we want to help you get to know Him and to know yourselves in a greater way. I hope you join me in this movement. Check out this amazing spoken word piece from my sister Genetic. And God said, it was not good for man to be alone, so he created you. But somewhere along the line, someone changed your perspective, shifted your view. Like Eve, you listened to the wrong voice and took a huge tasty bite of deception. Now your stomach's upset because your spirit won't digest it. No longer the woman that walks in the confidence of ultimate artistic design. Submit your name change. We'll call you compromise this is what happens when your gospel is according to whoever's at the top of your playlist and the media has become your bible searching scriptures of magazines to be told who you are dancing lead in satan's recital but you are not her and she is not you because we are called to so much more than makeup hair clothes and shoes and dropping it like it's hot even if we're able to we are women of a different status, 31 to be exact. We are content with not looking like anyone else because we know our differences are not a reason to be jealous, but God's fingerprint. We don't run around talking about how there are no good men. We know if we apply half as much effort on the inside as we do on the out, we'll stop drawing the wrong attention. Slow to speak, quick to listen. Receiving intervention from a higher dimension, seeking purpose, watching our God-given visions come to fruition, never forgetting that we have been forgiven much. So we eat, we live, we breathe, we give, we even sweat love. Always ready to hear from the women with silver hair. Seeds have been sown, and their wisdom saturates our soil, clipping our dead ends for growth. You'll find us always promoting unity, serving in our communities, using our gifts and talents as an all glory to God opportunity. Wake up in the morning with the grind for the most high on our mind, constantly being refined to be the exact of our architect's design. We have no hearts. So here's the answer before the question. Any man who wants a heart will go to Christ knowing it's in his possession. Yes, we are beautiful. And barefoot in the kitchen of grace, pregnant with purpose, baking up praise, Jesus is who we crave, awaiting to come to full term so we can deliver back what has been deposited, knowing good and well one day we all will be audited. Mercy gives us second chances so we ain't receive what we ought to get. We needed an intervention. Christ came to do lost prevention. On a cross, he was stretched and fully extended. And we were given an extension. Hear me, an extension. Hear me. Because this price was worth far more than your finest Indian Remy. I know we can change the things we don't like all for a simple cost. But Botox, lipo, and implants ain't got nothing on what was accomplished on that cross. Because you can't implant in yourself a new spirit or lipo suck away your sin. You can't lap ban your addictions, and you can't Botox away your depression. We all need him. It's time to change your status. 31 to be exact. Don't be afraid of what's abstract. Let the spirit of God be what attracts. We are women of a different status. This world we will impact. We are women of a different status. 31 to be exact. Welcome to Healing Touch. I am your host, Dr. Gina Miller, and tonight we have a special treat because I will be co-hosting this show with Carolyn Smith of Carol's Journey, and we are interviewing Anshura Johnson, lyrical dancer extraordinaire. 
And Shura, mm -hmm. thank you so much for coming to the show, and we are excited thank about Thank you for having your work. me. You it's been are, a pleasure. Oh, we, we, it's <laughs> our pleasure. I mean, we really, yes, really, is. we're so blessed, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. Oh, very my gosh. Blessed. So tell us a little bit about how you got to become a dancer mm -hmm. and uh, what dancing means to you. Okay, well, I started dancing ever since I was a little child. Um, I took classes here and there, but didn't take it seriously. Um, when I got to high school, my last year um, in Yonkers High, and you know, I did a talent show. And I was just like, let me just see how I'm gonna, you know, just do, just for fun. So I got into it, I won, and um, ever since then, I was just like, okay, there maybe there's something here. Mm -hmm. So when I um, went to WCC, which I'm currently at, um, I started taking, you know, professional dance classes and really, you know, drifted into the performing arts scene, however, still maintaining that ground with God and, you know, also mm -hmm. asking him to direct me yes. in this path because I already had my own, you know, path and my own way because I just wanted to, you know, go to school, become a nurse and, you know, just live that lifestyle that my mom wanted. Mm -hmm. But then when I started, you know, really looking into who I am and, you know, what I wanted for myself, then I really started taking dance seriously. Mm -hmm. And um, it's been a really interesting journey for me in particular as we see, you know, a dancer, you know, you want to be at background dancer for Beyonce or Usher and things like that. So also, you know, had a little battle with that, right. trying to, you know, be in that scene or trying to be with God's scene. So when I basically, you know, got it down pack, like, you know, I'm going to live for God and I'm going to use my gift for him. Amen. Then um, I started to see doors open for me. Mm -hmm. And um, ever since then, it's just been a, a blessing. Mm -hmm. I got my scholarship for WCC mm -hmm. and I was able to teach dance mm -hmm. and nutrition at oh. Yonkers um, YMCA. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it opened my eyes to see, you know, kids really need the performing arts scene. Mm -hmm. They need something to gear to and, you know, to not just stay at home or just be on the computer and do all of that. So yes, yes. it taught me and it grounded me to, you know, be on that teacher kind of scene as well. So right, right. dance means a lot to me. Um, mm -hmm. When I dance, it's just, I become that person. I become that song and I just do it for God. Yes, just an opportunity yes. to just bless him is just amazing. So being able to really built my gift and, you know, perform my craft has also built my relationship with God in such an amazing way. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. You mentioned WCC. What mm -hmm. does that stand for? Um, Westchester Community College in, okay. in Valhalla. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, I got a um, I got a scholarship for, for a ride, mm. and um, I was able to perform at the ceremony. Right. And um, one of the um, two teachers from SUNY Purchase mm -hmm. saw my um, saw me dancing. She's like, "Oh my goodness, I have to have you. Mm -hmm. You're just amazing, and you know things of that sort." So doors have opened Beautiful. for me through through dance and through God. You know, so, I understand you have a um, cultural background for Ghana. Yes, I was born and raised in Ghana. I came here when I was nine, and mm -hmm. you know, being in Ghana is amazing um however there are opportunities there that's not here in america mm -hmm. as we see dance would not be taken seriously in ghana so mm -hmm. one of my dreams is to go back home and start a performing arts school and mm -hmm. to really you know show that mm -hmm. through dance and through you know artistic being it really you know creates you as a person because mm -hmm. you're able to you know think and you're able to think outside the box and yes, yes. not basically just just you know hard and just this 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 and that it's just yes. it creates you in uh and it develops you in a very interesting way yes so. that's great the um uh, one of the dances um that you performed for us yes. uh <laughs> performed by or to a piece called 31 Status. Mm -hmm. uh, and 31 Status, uh, for those who um, are not familiar, is actually taken from the Bible and the, books, the book of Proverbs, chapter 31. And it's uh, well known as the um, virtuous woman. Mm -hmm. um, 
uh, scripture. Uh, and that dance, just when I first saw you do it mm -hmm. at Girls to Greatness, that's when I said the same thing as the lady mm -hmm. from SUNY Purchase. I got to have you <laughs> on Healing Touch, mm -hmm. you know, because that's what Healing Touch is about. Mm -hmm. It's about, you know, providing uh, a forum, mm -hmm. a space mm -hmm. so that people can be healed. Right. You know, that's, that's mm -hmm. the whole reason why I even started Healing Touch Ministries mm -hmm. is because I um, want to promote healing mm -hmm. and, um, and wellness. Yes. And, you know, which is why we have our uh, healthy snacks, mm -hmm. you know, uh, that we, we are, are eating healthy. Mm -hmm. We are drinking a lot of water and, mm -hmm. and we're eating healthy snacks, apples, mm -hmm. oranges, bananas, yes. you know, mango, whatever it yes, is you like. Citrus. And, mm -hmm. you know, Enhance your lifestyle. you have beautiful skin, you have beautiful you. hair and you. beautiful tea. You're just a beautiful <laughs> oh, thank young you. lady. Uh -huh. So you. Um, tell us a little bit about what 31 status, mm -hmm. you know, and how you have wellness you know, ties into, ties into mm -hmm. the 31 status. Oh, um, 31 status, um, the performance itself. When I first heard the poetic word, I was just like, oh my goodness, this has to be a piece that I, I dance to. Mm -hmm. It speaks volumes to who I am and who I'm trying to be and the places I'm trying to accomplish. So um, it basically is the virtuous woman and, you know, living in our society and living in our community, there are things that, you know, us women, we go through. Right. And for us younger females, yes. it's a lot that, you know, there's pressure and, you know, there are things that we deal with. So when I listen, when I listen to it, basically saying, you know, giving back to your community, you know, building yourself from the inside out mm -hmm. instead of just, it's not a, just about your hair and your makeup and, mm -hmm. you know, what the outside is, it's the inside that counts. Right. So when you speak, people hear you and they understand that, wow, she's not just a pretty face. She has a lot going on for herself and, you know, mm -hmm. basically education, you know, living right, eating healthy and mm -hmm. promoting um, younger, you know, younger females that are coming behind us. Yes. So the virtuous woman is an inspiration for me and mm -hmm. the, the dance mm -hmm. piece just means so much to me mm -hmm. through my movements and through God is just, mm -hmm. you know, telling yes. who we really are to worship him through yes. everything we do. Yes. And yes. Yes. eating healthy and promoting a healthier lifestyle is just one thing that, you know, I strive to do when I, you know, encounter females that ask me, so what do you do about your hair? What do you do about your makeup? What, not makeup, your skin. Yes. What do you do about that? And I just tell them it's what I eat mm -hmm. and how I live my life. Yes. I exercise about two to three times a week. Mm -hmm. I drink a lot of water. When you wake up in the morning, you drink water. When you go to mm -hmm. sleep, you drink water because when you sleep, you lose a lot of your, um, a lot of water in your mm -hmm. system because you just, you know, you sweat it all out while you're right. sleeping. Okay. So basically keeping yourself um, hydrated is mm -hmm. one of the most important things. And mm -hmm. being that we live in such a hectic lifestyle, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. cooking is one of the things that, you know, some of us don't have the time to. Right. But there are things that you could do. Um, one mm -hmm. of it is, you know, always packing fruits in your, in your bag. And, yes. you know, yes. one of the things that I would say Mm -hmm. is the healthy, the hearty breakfast, which you put apples, right. bananas, yes. oatmeal, yes. and um, mm -hmm. um, almond oil, um, excuse me, almond milk, yes. mm -hmm. and yes. um, um, cinnamon, and you all, you know, you blend it all up, and yes. you have all of that, and you go, and it's healthy, you just, mm -hmm. when you, and whenever you need it, you just eat it, and it, it keeps your system yes, it going, does. it yes, keeps it, it did nice. You know, um, did, did you know cinnamon reduces the spike in sugar in your blood? Wow, I didn't know that. Mm. And the, uh, the apple there helps to, to fight in bacteria in mm -hmm. your system, and build it and build up your immunity. Yes, and it's great and for you your have, digestive and you have, system. And you have vitamin C here that also helps with your immunity, and most important is your water. Yes. Right, mm -hmm. right. So it's very, it's very important to, you know, for us as African-American women, we have to, you know, make better eating choices. Mm -hmm. 
and we have to promote that with our kids. We can't keep on taking them to McDonald's. We can't do that. We have to show them this is what you need to eat, mm -hmm. and this is what you can do, like eating an apple instead of going and getting a bag of chips. It's the right. same price, a yes. dollar. You can right. still eat an mm -hmm. apple, and it's great for your stomach. It's great for your, your skin. It's, it's your more teeth. healthier. Yes. And your teeth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So on that note, we're going to watch Ensure Johnson one more time performing Newness of Life. Whoa! 
We welcome back. We just seen a presentation, newness of life, and one of the things I'd like to ask my guest, Miss Insura mm -hmm. Johnson, yeah. uh, this dance. What was the inspiration behind this dance? The inspiration behind this dance was um, just leaving the old lifestyle, the mm -hmm. old way, mm -hmm. um, the bondage, the the pain, the hurt. I left it all behind to walk in a new new light mm -hmm. and walk with God and you know embrace Him mm -hmm. and you know show me, you know, a better way to live my life. Mm -hmm. And um, the one of the symbols is the the ribbon which mm -hmm. I I use as mm -hmm. a gear to you know that representing the pain and the hurt mm -hmm. and you know leaving it behind I sort to... of breaking the bondage more yes. or less mm -hmm. you know in history we've gone through a lot as women mm -hmm. and we have been striving to try to to maintain and put and find a place for ourselves in in the, this world mm -hmm. I th it make me think when I see this mm -hmm. it th make me think about the women's suffrage yeah. the women's rights to vote mm -hmm the women to be able to gain some kind of acceptance in religion, mm -hmm. you know, because many men think that we're just a rip. Right. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And they don't realize behind, and I always say behind, every successful man is a woman. Mm -hmm. And if you uh, recall maybe a few years ago, the oldest living, not, well, they're not living, the oldest being that they found, and I believe was somewhere near the New Euphrates River, was a woman, wow. and that woman was, I uh, guess, um, close to almost, um, I would say, um, maybe about 100,000 years old. I'm not sure the exact wow. amount, but they declared that she was the first mother of civilization. Mm. Okay, not a man, a woman, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. and everything. Um, I, and I see, uh, to me, it represents, uh, I'm trying to think of the right words, a sense of freedom. Because yes. I noticed how you did things so effortlessly, and, mm -hmm. and it just seemed to flow, mm -hmm. you know. Um, one of the things I'd like to ask you, where are you going to go from here in terms um, of your future? As, in terms of my future? Yes. Um, as of right now, I'm going to be graduating in the fall mm -hmm. and, you know, getting a degree in performing arts, and I'm going to shift to a four-year college and to, you know, study dance education or dance mm -hmm. therapy, something in the dance and health field. Right. And still, you know, pursue that creative dream of, you know, performing and, you know, using my gift as mm -hmm. God deems it right. So whatever mm -hmm. things that, whatever he has planned for me, yes. I am following it step by step. So mm -hmm. I'm just taking it as mm -hmm. it goes, mm -hmm. acting, modeling, beauty modeling, mm -hmm. um, dancing, of course, and right. ministering through, mm -hmm. you know, who yes. I am and through wellness and through um, just living a lifestyle that represents him. You know, I've heard my mom say that, mm -hmm. you know, since I was a little girl that, um, well, one of the things that she would say is, um, a man will only do what you allow him to mm -hmm. do. And I guess that's true in most mm -hmm. cases, yeah. but there are cases of abuse, mm -hmm. you know, um, yes. where, mm -hmm. you know, you cannot um, sound as if you are victimizing the victim, mm -hmm. you know, of abuse. So, um, yes, that is true in a mutual relationship. You know that a man will only can only do mm -hmm. what you allow him to do, but then mm -hmm. there are cases of abuse mm -hmm. where you didn't allow it, you didn't agree, mm -hmm. you didn't sign off, right. you know, um, and something bad happened. Mm -hmm. But the dance that you perform, newness of life, mm -hmm. and you know, and as you said, with the red, the um, the ribbon mm -hmm. representing um, the pain, and, mm -hmm. and but I saw that the pain was 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 basically broken, mm -hmm. you know, um, um, lifted, yeah, removed, mm -hmm. you know, there's like a lifting up, you mm -hmm. know, of the Doesn't, hands mm -hmm. and, and walking into newness of life yeah. as the pain is coming off mm -hmm. and, and you're oh. stepping in. And, mm -hmm. and at the end, I think I would call you seeing that where you mm -hmm. sort of stepped into, into newness, mm -hmm. you know, um, it's, 
I can see it. <laughs> I can right. see it. Yeah. So, yes. you know, that, that performance um, will break chains. Will, you know, mm -hmm. there's a song, an old song, um, Jesus Breaks Every Fetter, mm -hmm. you know, and a fetter mm -hmm. is represents a, a fetter is a chain, you mm -hmm. know, a fetter is a, like a binding, mm -hmm. something, a tool used to bind something. Mm -hmm. So, but um, the song uh, goes, Jesus Breaks Every Fetter, mm -hmm. you know, and then there's an, another song that, uh, um, uh, Jesus Breaks Every Chain, which is a newer mm -hmm. song that's out. Mm -hmm. um, there's a group called Jesus Culture, um, praise and worship mm -hmm. group, um, and then there's a gospel artist called Tasha Cobbs who did a more upbeat version of it. Mm -hmm. But that's what I was reminded of when yeah. I was watching mm -hmm. that performance of Newness mm -hmm. of Life, you know? And, and I am just excited and happy about seeing a young woman who has such purpose mm -hmm. and, and, yes. and living for God. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. uh, on Healing Touch, that's mm -hmm. what we want to do is we want to mm -hmm. promote healing, you know, yeah. on Carol's journey. Yeah. You know, what exactly. Carol does is she talks a lot about the places that she travels to, mm -hmm. and it's a journey, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. And so, and sure, I mm -hmm. really thank God for having you on, mm -hmm. on the program, and we will see you again. Yes. That's right. We, we will. will. Yes. yes, we will. Yes. <laughs> on the show again and yes. in different places. So yeah. I, at this time, I just want you to take a minute because uh, we're closing mm -hmm. out, but I want you to um, tell our listening audience and people who mm -hmm. are watching us on BronxNet yeah. television how they can reach you mm -hmm. if they're interested in um, getting in touch with you for mm -hmm. booking, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. or, or appearances. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay. You can reach me on Facebook, which is Insura Johnson. It's N-H-Y-I-R-A Johnson. Or you can email me. It's E-W-U-R-E-S-I-J at gmail.com. And, you know, you can get me through there. And I'm just excited for what, God is going to do in my life and the purpose that he has in my life. Mm -hmm. And I thank you, too, for having me as a yes. guest. It's been yeah, a thank pleasure. You. Thank and you. I'm really looking forward mm -hmm. to my bright future. Great. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. Thank well, you. ladies and gentlemen, you have been watching Healing Touch. And the topic of the show today is Ensura Catch the Blessing. Ensura's uh, name actually means blessing. Mm -hmm. So that is why we titled today's program, Insura, Catch the Blessing. I hope you were sitting at the edge of your seat, catching the blessing Amen. of Insura, catching the blessing of walking into the newness of life, catching the blessing of being the 31 status, Proverbs 31, virtuous woman. And for the guys out there, Take a close look at your mom. Take a close look at your sister. Take a close look at any woman that's in your life. And remember that she is a blessing and that she is of 31 status. And you can help her to walk into the newness of life as you do that yourself. Because that's what God's order is. You know, God's order is that, you know, the man should be the head mm -hmm. of his household. Mm -hmm. And as women, we have to be the example mm -hmm. to help him mm -hmm. to know yes. how he is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So thank you again for watching Healing Touch. God bless you, and we hope to see you real soon. Mm -hmm.